And as the dust settles after Election Day, we break down the balance of power at the federal and state levels. Our Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine does that now. Tuesday's election proved to be a big night for Republicans, the party winning not only the White House, but control of the U.S. Senate. The balance of power in the House has yet to be called. However, New York Democratic congressional candidates were able to flip some seats blue, including Central New York's 22nd District. I think the, the New York Democrats have come out of the, uh, you know, the uh, proverbial doghouse for what they were accused of uh, flipping the House to the Republicans two years ago, but of course the uh, final outcome nationally of the House uh, is still unclear, but I think it won't be because of New York. At the state level, it was a victorious night for Democrats, the party winning a supermajority in the state assembly with 103 seats. In the state Senate, Dems were just one seat shy of a supermajority winning 41 seats. However, I'm told it's the third largest majority in state Senate history. A supermajority is where out of the uh, 63 members of the Senate and the 150 members of the Assembly, uh, one party has at least two thirds of the membership and that would enable the majority party to override a gubernatorial veto. Also here in New York, Proposition 1, known as the Equal Rights Amendment, passed. This means the state's constitution will be changed to include age, ethnicity, sexual orientation, gender identity, and pregnancy outcomes to the list of discrimination protections, among others. Supporters of the controversial amendment say it will codify abortion in the state's constitution, making it harder to be overturned. There was a big negative campaign against it, claiming that this would allow uh, transgender uh, people to uh, play in women's sports. Uh, it would allow non-citizens to vote, uh, but the voters approved that amendment and uh, we've seen uh, you know, high dollar uh, efforts like this before usually help defeat amendments, uh, but this amendment seemed to have gotten through okay rather easily. The amendment does not add, change, or take away any laws here in New York State. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. To stay up to date on your local news, sports, and weather, visit our website, cnyhomepage.com. And don't forget to download our CNY Homepage app so you never miss the local news that matters. After the break, meteorologist Brian James has our eyewitness weather forecast. Stay with us. We'll be right back.